Hey guys, welcome back to the Espresso Outlet YouTube channel. And today we have a how-to on this Turing Galaton Espresso machine. So out of the box, this machine comes set at approximately 11 bars of pressure. Now, some people, they want it closer to the nine bar pressure point, give or take. So this is how to adjust the OPV valve in this machine. Now, you really don't need to do this, but if this is something that is a must have for you, it's a really easy thing to get done. So to get going, you don't need very many essentials but you will need a three millimeter allen key this is out of my personal toolbox i've said in other videos and people think it comes with the machines or something uh, you'll need to get a three millimeter allen key next you'll need some sort of a flathead screwdriver let's have this multi-tool here and a back flush blind this does come with your espresso machine as well as this, the porta filter that came with the espresso machine. And over here we have our Galaton, it's completely heated up. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is completely heated up before you start this. So you don't really need to do this first step, but I just wanna show you the baseline pressure in the machine. So we're going to take our back flush blind and insert it into the porta filter, and then we'll put the porta filter into the espresso machine. Next, we're just gonna show you the base pressure. So this is with the blind, and when you put the blind in, it's going to max out how much pressure is put onto that puck. So if we take a quick look, we're right at about 11 bars, which is where it's set from the factory. I do wanna note that this machine is designed to have the OPV go to this little spout. Sometimes it's hidden beneath the drip tray on certain brands. On this particular machine, you'll see it come out. And that's just the OPV pressure that is bypassing that valve. So this is totally normal. So to get started on removing the top of the machine, you can simply lift up your door for your water reservoir. And then sometimes you might need a screwdriver or something just to pry this cover up. There we go. And set both of those aside. Next, we'll use our three millimeter Allen key and you'll see that there's quite a few screws on the top. You don't need to undo all of them. So to start with, we're going to do the two in front of the water tank. And then there's an additional two at the very front of the machine. Don't remove these two screws as that holds the side body panels on. Next, you'll want to pry up on this lid. Just make sure that you're not touching any of the wiring beneath it. Okay, so now we're doing a top-down view of our boiler, and you can see our boiler right here, really high build quality. And off to the side, we have our OPV. And the top of the OPV, the portion that we're going to adjust, is actually covered in this red sealant. And this is a factory sealant. Uh, this is kind of why we don't recommend removing this, because if at any point in the future you're traveling or moving and this machine moves around a little bit, that OPV may move a little bit. So what we're going to do to begin adjusting this is to pry off the sealant. Usually just use like a flathead screwdriver. I like to be careful not to get it down into the machine. Next, again, prepare your blind basket and put it into the porta filter and turn on your machine because we're going to need to see how many bars of pressure it's adjusting to as we rotate this screw. So I'm going to start the machine and we're going to begin pressurizing. So we're at 11 bars again. And as I make a counterclockwise rotation, I'm down to about 10, and we'll show this on the screen here in a second. And then down to nine bars. So now we have our OPV set to nine bars. 
And then what I usually like to do is just to make sure that we're set is dump out the water and let's see if it tops at nine bars. We're at a perfect nine bar. To wrap things back up, you can feel free to install our cover. There's a couple grooves, make sure that you put it in the correct orientation. And let's put our four screws back in. Followed by our cup warming rack and our cover for the water tank. So thanks for watching this video. Hit the like and subscribe if you found this content to be useful and we will be making more with this machine shortly. But for today, I appreciate you guys watching.